Hello and welcome. This video will act as a demonstration on how to identify or recognize boss skill animations. So this includes whether they're using physical or magical based attacks, if they are debuffing or buffing, and also if they are healing. The boss for this demonstration will be Mazandor as it actually does each of these moves. Okay, so the first animation we see here has like a spiky kind of aura. Uh, this means that the attack will be physical, and we can actually double check. If you see this up in here, it does physical damage to all foes. So when players or yourself cast a weapon that has physical damage with a cast time of at least one second, you can see we get a similar kind of spiky aura beneath us that is slightly small. Okay, so you can see that the second animation here have a kind of swirly sort of aura, and that means it's a magical base attack. So if you look at the Ascal Scythe here, it does magic damage to a foe, and it has one second cast time. So if we cast this, we will see that we also have a similar swirl kind of aura beneath us. So let's do a little bit more damage. So again, this one's a magical base attack, as it has a swirly kind of aura. Okay, and now you can see a green kind of aura beneath it, and that means it's going to heal. And so when clerics or people use kind of self-heal weapons, let's use a healing mace now. So geode mace has a one second cast time, so you can see I have a similar green aura underneath me, underneath the cleric uh, when it's about to heal. So again, magic damage. So the green is slightly different. That was a wind based attack, or wind element attack, so you can see it's this kind of green. But for healing, it's a more fluoro, or more bluish green. Okay, now we've gotten the boss down to a certain amount of health. It's going to buff now. So that orangey triangle kind of aura means it is buffing itself. And now it's going to heal. So if we look at Cherub, the mage, she's going to use a buffing staff with a long cast time, and you can see there's a similar orangey aura beneath it with some triangles flowing through it, and that means she had just buffed herself. So you can see magic damage buffs. And that basically is all the animations you need to recognize from bosses in Mitrosphere. Thank you all for watching and I hope this helps you.